Hi, this is Nikki, creator of The Ruffled Purse, which you can find at theruffledpurse.com, and it is my purpose to help you to discover the joy of sewing. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating three different ways that you can tie a knot in a thread in order to secure it for your hand sewing. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using some DMC embroidery floss, which is a little bit thicker so that you can see me actually create the knots. Then I'll be demonstrating with some other thread that you'll um, probably be using when you're doing your hand sewing. It could be an all-purpose 100% polyester thread. It could be a cotton-wrapped polyester thread, or you might even be using a 100% cotton thread. So regardless of the thread, the process of the knot making is going to be the same. For the first demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to wrap the thread around your finger to create a knot. So if you have your thread, usually when you cut a thread, you want it to be about 18 to 20 inches long while you're working with it. Um, to create the knot around your finger, you're going to put the end of your thread between your thumb and your forefinger. You'll wrap it around and then you're going to push your thumb towards the end of your finger, causing the thread to roll then you're gonna pull it and it's going to create a knot at the end of the thread. So this is like a perfect knot. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the same thing on regular thread. So I'm gonna cut a length of thread. And when you're cutting, if you cut at the diagonal, that diagonal will actually help you when you're ready to thread your needle. So going down to the end of the thread, uh, because this is thinner, I'll need to wrap it a couple more times. Um, but again, the thread goes between my thumb and my forefinger. I'm going to wrap it a couple times. Then I actually use the back of my nail to kind of help it start rolling. Push my thumb towards my index finger. The thread kind of wraps it around itself. And then I pull to create a knot. Now, if you notice, this knot is not as pretty as this knot. But that's okay because it is a knot and it will stay um, hold my thread secure in my when I'm doing my hand sewing. So that is around the finger. The next one I want to demonstrate is around the needle. When you do around the needle, you want to have the thread already uh, through the eye of the needle. Um, I like to hold my needle in my right hand and my thread in my left hand. I'm going to put my needle on top of my thread towards the end and I'm going to wrap it a couple times. Then I'm going to hold it with my thumb and my forefinger and then I'm just going to kind of pull it down to the end of the thread and then I will have a knot right here at the end of my thread. So what that looks like with regular thread. Oh no, I probably should have already had this threaded just a second. Oh, great. Okay, there it goes. All right, so I'm threaded. So I'm going to have my needle in my right hand, the end of the thread in my left hand. I'm going to put my thread underneath my needle, and I'm going to wrap it uh, three or four times because it's thinner. I'm going to slide the uh, windings all the way down to the end and it creates a knot. So that is around the needle making the knot. The last way that I want to show you has to do with um, doubling the thread. So because I double the thread I'm going to do a little bit longer about um, 30 inches or so. I'm going to cut the thread then I'm going to put both ends together. So when I put both ends together, th both of those will go through the needle and then at the end, I'm gonna have a loop. So let me get these through the eye of my needle. And I'm using a little bit bigger needles than I normally would just because it's easier to thread. And then the way this works is when you are sewing something, if this is the back or the wrong side, I would insert my needle in through the back. I would put it, come from the back to the front. And then in order to secure it, it would go, my needle would go through 
the loop and then it actually makes it secure without having to tie a knot. So this is Nikki Hibbets from The Ruffled Purse, which you can find at theruffledpurse.com, just showing you three different ways that you can tie a knot and thread to start your hand sewing. Happy sewing!